Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In this step-by-step -step DIY video, we're gonna be installing the Burger Motorsports billet strut braces on my G20 M340i. So you're gonna decrease that chassis flex when cornering. To top it off, it's a direct bolt-on, no cutting or drilling required to put these on and they do look nice. I went with the black ones just to go with the theme of my car. All right guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this DIY started. Go ahead and pop the hood. We're gonna pull the latch two times. All right, with your hood open, I'm going to show you the four spots where you need to connect them uh, using the supplied uh, nuts and bolts. So you're going to have an open hole right here. It's going to go up underneath like that. And then you're going to have one right over here. Which you'll access down in the wheel well, and I'll show you um, how to get to that one right there. So that way you can reach on up there, but it is all wide open. You don't have to take anything in additional off. You will have to jack up the vehicle secure it safely so that way you can get your hand all up in there and tighten that nut so just looking at the strut braces first things first you're going to want to have the bms logo facing upwards so that's that another important part is if you're looking at it from the side and you see it go up like this and then down at this angle this one goes uh, more flat piece but then this one goes down shoots that way that's going to go to your strut brace area here it's because it lays, it has to go over and then lay flat. So if you have it like that, it'll be completely flush on both sides. So that way you know you did it correctly. Let's say I flip this around to the opposite way I just told you. As you can tell, it's definitely off here and it's way off up here. So just kind of a FYI, have it like this, as you see. So just line up these holes. You're going to have a longer one and a shorter one. The longer one is going to go to your suspension part. Your shorter one is going to go down here. So go ahead and drop in your small one right there. And then we'll just go ahead and drop in our longer one. Drop in that one. So then you're going to have a supplied uh, four nuts, just like here. I'm going to go ahead and add this one up underneath. We're going to tighten this one up first, then move to the wheel well area to tighten up that back one. Top part is 10 millimeter. Bottom nut part that's included is 13 millimeter. So I'm going to take my 13 millimeter quarter inch drive socket. Just gives a, enough space to get un, up underneath here. Then I'm going to take my 10 millimeter impact. And go ahead and tighten that on. Then for the back one, go ahead and get in the wheel well. Up in the wheel well area, you'll see it poking out right up there. That's where we're going to go. Go back to our supplied um, nuts in the kit. A little trick here that I'm doing. So 13 millimeter socket, quarter inch drive, quarter inch drive extension. I did put the nut down in that socket. So that way I can just connect it here. I'm trying to do everything I can without removing the wheel. So then you're gonna take a 13 millimeter wrench, so that way you can hold it from down here. Hit with the impact from the other side. Do it with two hands here. 12 millimeter bolt from the top. All right, so since we have that one uh, tight, we'll come back down to this one just to double check it and uh, re-tighten. 
if necessary. So 13 millimeter socket um, underneath for the nut. And then 10 millimeter for the top bolt for the front one here. So now that you're on the other side, uh, the great thing about the strut braces and going with the new Burger Motorsports competition intake, it accepts the strut braces. So as you can see here, it dips down a little bit so that way you can have a nice clean install with the strut braces and have a high performance intake all at the same time. Let's see how it goes right through here. So all we're gonna do, same step as before, make sure it's flush. That's gonna go back here. Have that drop down, then our short one, it's right over here in the front. Uh, what I recommend is just lining it up like this underneath the hole with your other hand. And then once you get it lined up and you can see it, cause you can see right through it, tight and put those through there. Back on the front one here, all you need to do is, uh, you know, back that 13 millimeter up underneath here. Then you're going to do the same thing right in the wheel well, just like what you did on the other side. Once you have that side done, you have completed installing the Burger Motorsports billet strut braces on your BMW G20. Uh, they definitely look nice and after once you start driving it you can really tell of just it just being a little bit more tighter uh, in those turns when you do it but they look wonderful under the hood of course these are the black ones just to go along with uh, the theme that i'm going on with this car but they do offer other colors as well it's a little up close where you know uh, you install it on this hole and then down in the strut brace hole so this is available hole just have to get up underneath there uh, to be able to put that nut in. But uh, overall, very simple and uh, definitely changes the look of everything. So if you guys wanna pick up the Burger Motorsports billet strut braces, I will have them down in the description box below on this video. And of course, everything that I used in this video as well. Well, big thumbs up on today's DIY. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tons of other M340i, B58 videos, 335i, N54 videos, and of course, a bunch of M5 videos as well. Hopefully you have something to help you along the way with your DIY needs and of course, maintenance stuff on uh, the BMW platform. All right, guys, hopefully you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you later.